Welcome back to another GCN Tech Unboxing. I've got three new products to talk about, two of which are right here in front of me now. So I'm going to tell you all about them and then I'm going to tell you about an amazing competition we have running where you'll have the chance to win one of two gift vouchers worth 500 euros each. This is the Stealth Team Saddle, and these are the Vibe Evo Handlebar, or Cockpit, if you want to sound cool and like a fighter pilot. Anyway, they're from Pro, which is a Shimano-owned brand, and it's thanks to them for putting these two amazing prizes up for grabs. So let's start with the handlebars, because not only do I think they look super cool, they are in fact super high-tech, and Pro themselves say they are an evolution in integration. I see what they did there, calling them the Vibe Evo. You know? It's a one-piece design which combines the stem together with the handlebars and is constructed from T700 carbon fibre. This is used to create a strong yet lightweight handlebar. And depending on which width handlebars and length of stem you choose, the weights range from 390 grams up to 405. There is a lot going on with this bar and Pro have taken a completely new approach to what many of us will be familiar with. They have created this unique shape where the levers interact with the handlebar. This is designed for optimal ergonomics. It also means the cables, the hoses and electronic shifting wires can be seamlessly routed internally for ultimate aero and the sleekest of setups. There's also the option for semi-integrated cable routing or traditionally routed cables and hoses. And it's neat how this little top cap makes everything look so sleek. The bars are designed not to require the use of traditional bar tape. The tops have this rubber coated specifically routed around the top to the lever hoods that blends into the profile of the bars. This minimizes the disruption of airflow. On the lower section of the bars, you have two options. First is the proprietary design grip. This has a textured finish and a molded shape for comfort, grip, and to reduce aerodynamic drag. There is also a neat little section which incorporates a sprint button, should that be a thing. Should you prefer the feeling of bar tape though, then you can still use your usual stuff. And generally, one roll should do both sides, so your favourite pack of bar tape should last twice as long. Now, just as we have the sprint buttons moulded into the grips, there's also a neat option to incorporate bar top shifters for climbing, which is another neat little sleek solution. And in terms of ergonomics and fit, there are a number of different options and configurations to choose from. You've got stem lengths of 105, 115 and 125 mil. Bar widths of 380, 400 and 420 mil. The drops are 135 mil. You've got five degrees of flare and a compact shape. They also include shims to allow for plus or minus two degrees of angle adjustment and the option to fit an inch and a quarter and an inch and eight steerer tubes. In essence, you should be able to get the fit just right for you. Oh, and um, one final detail on the bars. There's an option to have an integrated out the front mount. And the Pro one is made so that the top of your head unit should sit flush with the top of the handlebars for optimal aerodynamics. And it's also got 15 degrees of adjustment, so should fit most head units out there. Right then, on to the saddles. So this is the Pro Stealth Team Saddle. And the first thing to say is that it's near identical to the Stealth Curved version, apart from a slight difference in the profile. And I'll explain about that in a minute. But what are the similarities between them? So both saddles use oval carbon fibre rails, a carbon fibre reinforced polymer base, lightweight EVA foam padding and a PU top cover. And it's the use of these materials which helps to keep the weight down in both saddles to 161 grams. They both feature a large anatomic recess or cutout designed to reduce any unwanted pressure in those sensitive areas. And also to account for the difference in sit bone widths, they're available in two widths, 142 millimeters and 152. So you might be thinking, well, how exactly do they differ then? Well, is to do with their profile and the shape, which serves as an indicator for the riding style that they're intended for. Now, being a short-nosed saddle, 
Both of them are intended for people who tend to ride in a lower and more aggressive and aerodynamic position. Think along the lines of people who race or do fast group rides. The Stealth Team has a flatter profile and is intended for riders who maintain a stable hip and pelvis, whereas the Stealth Curved Saddle has a more rounded rear section and a narrower nose. This is to account for riders who move or rock their hips left and right as they pedal. And the idea being is to try to not limit that movement, but create a comfortable saddle. A couple of other neat little features on this saddle are, if you look on the base here, there's this little marker to dictate 80 millimeters, and that refers to the width and this central sort of point on the saddle, which is particularly useful if you're transferring across from a non-short-nosed saddle onto a short nose saddle such as this. And it means that you can use this handy little tool, which is inbuilt into the packaging, to break that off. And then this is 80 millimeters wide across here, so it mimics that place there. So what you do is you slide this over your existing saddle and then measure the reach that you have, and then you can mimic that setup on your new short nose saddle to make sure you've got exactly the same position and you know that this saddle is positioned as best as it possibly can be. Now, if you look here at the back of the saddle, we've got these two little fixing points. Now, these are used for attaching a number of different fixtures onto the back of the saddle. Now, Pro make them that are available to hold a GoPro, a Pro saddle bag, and there's even options to mount additional water bottle holders onto the back of your saddle. And this is a neat solution to help keep your bike looking sleek and as neat and tidy as possible. So then, what about our competition? So you quite simply need to click on the link in the description down below, follow the instructions, but don't expect it to be too easy though. You're gonna have to answer a question and of course agree to our terms and conditions if you wanna have the chance of winning one of two 500 euro pro vouchers. Oh, and um, you're also gonna need to pick stuff that's in stock. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up and share this video far and wide. And why not let me know in the comments section down below what you think of these handlebars and the saddle as well. See you later. Oh, and um, good luck for the competition.